Hey guys, it's Cena. Hey you guys, it's Monday and it's supposed to be my weigh-in day, but I had to uh, readjust some things. <laughs> okay, I came to you guys Saturday with this big plan of having all these Weight Watcher friendly foods, which I did. I did really good with cooking some great Weight Watcher friendly um, egg rolls and having queso and the what uh the brownie bites and veggie dips i did all that but when the party started and all that other stuff started arriving the spinach dips and the, the list goes on and on i could go all day i did awful yesterday you guys awful i mean i lost my ever loving mind yesterday you guys so i tracked it i just i just put in my whole week's worth of saved up weeklies and I just knocked out all my dailies. I had 66 weekly points saved up. I just put in chips all the way down. I ate chips and you guys, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, jeez. Okay, so this is the thing. I thought that weighing in on Mondays would help me out on the weekends. No, I'm not gonna stress about this. I'm not, I refuse to make this an issue. So I'm going to move my weigh-in days to Wednesday because if I would have stepped on that scale this morning, I probably would have been in tears, seriously, because I worked my butt off all week just for one day to kind of blow it. When I know I could kind of just wash it out with lots of water and exercise, I went to Zumba this morning. I mean, I'm on it. I, it's uh, it's 1 o'clock and I've almost got, I'm, oh, I'm only 400 steps away from having 10,000. So I'm really, really working hard, you guys. I didn't want to think that I'm trying to cheat my way in because I'm only cheating myself if I was, but that's not the case. Sundays, I mean, Monday weigh-ins just is not going to work for me. Because I usually do a lot of stuff on the weekends. So if I want to have a date night with my husband or anything like that, I don't want it to sabotage my Monday weigh-in. So Wednesday, I'm going to weigh in on Wednesday. Plus, one of the twins woke up with a sore throat and a fever. He has strep. No flu, thank goodness. But I still have to watch uh, being around him. I have a mask hanging on his bedroom door. So when I go in there, I take it to him. And he has to wear a mask when he's walking around the house. So... Yeah, that's what we're going to do for him so it doesn't spread. And I'm spraying Lysol and the whole nine. Huh, yeah, you guys, yesterday was so much fun. I didn't care who won, but go Eagles. I started cheering for the Eagles because that's who everyone else was cheering for. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. We laughed. We had, I do not drink alcohol, you guys. I don't. But back in my college days and stuff, yeah, I used to indulge a little bit. Never been a heavy drinker. But I had an Amaretta Sour yesterday and it like brought back so many memories of college days. So I had an Amaretta Sour yesterday and my sister-in-law made this spinach dip. <sighs> it was so good. But all this stuff that just poured into the house was just ridiculous. When friends and family get together like that, we just have a blast. And I didn't want to have to worry about it. The egg rolls were a hit. Everyone loved, I mean, across the board loved the egg rolls. They were gone very, very quickly. And I made like 60 of them. They were gone quick. So those were a hit. The brownie bites were gone. And they were um, Weight Watcher friendly sugar. People didn't even know that they were just sugar free. And, you know, they just ate them. I think people were drinking and eating and they just, <laughs> but it was great. The buffalo shrimp, another big hit. Gone. You know, but I did, one good thing I did do is I started with my Weight Watcher stuff. My plate was perfect the first go around. But then, of course, people brought stuff. They want you to try it. And so, me being the person I am, I had to try it. <laughs> so, I was telling you guys about the carb quick. And um, the, it came today. It came this morning. So, I've already been in the kitchen working with this stuff. This stuff is full of fiber and um it's a, it's a pancake mix with a dough made. You can make pizza, uh, crust, biscuits. So I made the two ingredient dough that it is going around. Everyone has made that with the yogurt and the flour. Well, I made it with this and it came out fine. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm not gonna say I love it yet. I made chili for dinner tonight. Like I said, I've been in the kitchen all day, even though after yesterday, but I'm doing really good. I made my uh, two point chili in my oven safe mug that I love. And I put, made a, um, a crust for the top 
of the chili and the chili is full and so it came out really cool so I can't wait to try this for dinner I don't want to break into it because it's my dinner and um, so I made a couple of these for my husband and I my husband's trying to eat what I eat he's not ready to commit to Weight Watchers yet but you know men they lose so quickly we'll see how it works for him but the boys if I say that it's a Weight Watcher food they roll their eyes whatever <laughs> so I made chili for them and they could eat it with their corn chips and all the fattening stuff they normally do so I don't know about the one twin he'll probably eat soup for dinner poor guy he has a sore throat so we'll see how he does he's been sleeping on and off most of the day um, drinking plenty of fluids he loves Gatorade and stuff so that hasn't been a problem to you know get him to get that down so I'm gonna keep working with this I haven't made pancakes or waffle with it yet and we'll see but oh I didn't tell you the the crust is only one point one point so, and it's, it tastes really good it's, it, it almost tastes cheesy to me um the crust so yeah this crust is only one point for all of that so um, I'm excited about that and I had um, a mini bagel for lunch I just made a little one just to try with the everything but the bagel seasoning on it the inside was a little bit doughy so I may have not just not baked it long enough so I'm gonna play with that and I just made a one point um, bagel so what I did was half a cup of the yogurt and half a cup of this dough and I made a ball and I split it in fours so I made it one point each so uh, one serving of this is two points so yeah you can work with try I'll put the link below uh, I got this off of Amazon with free shipping there is another company that has it a little cheaper but their shipping is outrageous so you guys have a good day hugs see you soon see you on Wednesday for sure for weigh in um, so that's that's my goal for this week you guys love ya hugs bye